Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for uh, you for the month of June uh, 2024. We're going to jump right in here. Now you have this dream catcher card it says pay attention to the signs, messages, and guidance that come to you at night. You have this new love card. It says a new romantic relationship is unfolding that will be deeply meaningful for you. And again, it's a great month for love. The whole entire summer is great for everybody for love. It's like a summer of summer of love, right? And there you go. You have the lovers. So I would do whatever you can. If you want love, I would get out there for sure. If you don't, then don't. But um, definitely could be some solid connections if you are looking for that sort of thing. Uh, you have the Nine of Swords, which is, it's kind of funny to start with the Nine of Swords, right? <laughs> because you could be saying to yourself like, oh my God, do I really want to go down that road again? Do I really want to potentially repeat a mistake? And that's what the Nine of Swords asks us. The Nine of Swords is like a never ending nightmare. It is, uh, you know, kind of like having a nightmare, waking up and being stuck in a nightmare. Uh, I feel like some of you could be asking that question. Like, do I really want to, uh, you know, commit to a new connection or open myself up to, um, you know, be in a connection again. So if you are looking for love, uh, that's what you could be asking yourself. Uh, the other thing I would say, though, about the Nine of Swords, and uh, you have this open to discovery card. The Nine of Swords is really a card that says, you know, he's like in pain, but he's not in enough pain to make a change. He has this blanket on his lap here, and that blanket uh, represents a comfort blanket. And the card itself basically says like how much, you know, how, how much pain do you have to be in before you make a change, right? And so this kind of, I feel, is encouraging you to uh, make it, like if you have something in your life that is less than perfect, it says, you know, how can you make a change so that you don't keep repeating a cycle? And, you know, if you have any of those situations in your life or in any area of life, I would look at that. Uh, you have the lovers here. The lovers is you, of course. So whenever you show up as yourself, this puts you in a position of power and strength. We also have Jupiter in your sign. So amazing and definitely really good for you. Jupiter in the first expands you into the world. And you could be noticing that. You could be getting more attention, standing out more. Uh, you could notice people noticing you more, all sorts of stuff. I also feel that you could be making some important decisions at this time. We go this way. Uh, up to the Eight of Wands, which is like quick success or a quick conclusion. So you could be making a quick decision. We go this way to the Justice card and justice is cause and effect. Justice says, if you are making any choices in your life at all, you know, just look, or if you're having a hard time making a choice, you know, look at cause and effect. If you put energy into the situation, do you get energy back? If the answer is yes, then that's probably the right choice. If, if the answer is no, then the answer is no. Uh, you have the Four of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles is like holding on too tightly to something and needing to release something. I kind of feel for you, I actually feel pretty good about this, honestly. Um, you know, sometimes I just feel the Four of Pentacles says you are in kind of like stabilizing your finances. And not only that, we go up to the King of Pentacles, to the Eight of Swords in the area of the good stuff. So it looks to me like you could be discovering uh, new ways to make money. You even have, how crazy is this? I didn't even notice this. You have this key card and then you have this opening to discovery. It's like a keyhole on that card. It's almost like you're opening doors to abundance or something. Again, I'm not quite sure exactly where that message is going yet. We'll find out right now, but it looks to me like you are kind of like open, you're being more open to opportunities to improve your finances or your financial life. Yes. With the Nine of Swords, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I really feel like you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> you know, if you're worried about uh, your financial future, if you're worried, like, will I make money doing some this, you know, project or, you know, your business or will your business survive? The answer is yes. I think that uh, you are kind of opening doors and discovering new ways to create success. Also, again, if you've been worried with the Nine of Swords about your finances or, you know, about where your money is going to come from. It looks to me here that you are quickly discovering a way to improve your finances. So that looks good. With the lovers, you have the tower. Like I said, I feel like some of you, I don't really feel, I feel this is a collection of tower moments. I think this is, I think you are, you know, kind of seeing all the tower moments that you've been through in relationships or uh, in connections. And you're kind of like looking at all of them together and you're just saying like, like I said, with the Nine of Swords, do you want to open up to this again or uh, do you not want to open up to it again? The tower is really about not ignoring reality of a situation. So these people inside the tower have been ignoring reality and now they're being brought back down to earth. So it basically says that as long as you're paying attention to the reality of a situation, then you're not going to have another tower moment. So we just have to pay attention with the tower, especially in new situations. It's kind of like, did you learn the lesson or not? And I feel these are probably multiple lessons that you've learned. 
uh, with the, here you go, with the Four of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Like I said, I think you're working, again, some of you might not even be focused on love and that could be why you're attracting it as, as well. But, <laughs> you know, the other thing I would say is I think a lot of you are focusing on improving your financial situation. You know, it's kind of funny because like I used to do readings and people would say to me like all the time, like I got this question so much. People would be like, you know, I went through this horrible breakup, but my money got better. I'm like, yeah, because you weren't thinking about it. You know, it's like because you're going through the breakup that that pain is taking your focus off your financial situation so then it can improve. And But I kind of feel like the opposite here for you where it's like maybe you are kind of, you know, kind of reminiscing a little bit about past connections or, you know, why things didn't work out. And because of that, you're also, working, but you're working on improving your financial situation, but it's not like a, directly a focus. And so because of that, I think things are maybe improving for you with your finances. I also feel the same for money. It's like you could just be focused on work and you're making money, which is great. Um, but because you're not focused on love, it's like you're attracting new love. You have that new love card showing up there. Uh, next in the area of what's coming towards you, you have this feeling in the world card. You also have this open to discovery card. I would definitely say it is a time of discovery. Uh, every single reading I've done for the past like two weeks now has been all, pretty much everyone has said to people that they need to have new experiences. I, I personally believe, and again, this is a personal thing, not intuitive, right? So take it or leave it. But I personally do believe that when we have more experiences, we kind of make ourselves more lucky because obviously we're taking more chances. And you know, really, I think life just boils down to taking a chance on something, right? Or a bunch of stuff. And so I feel like you could be opening up to the world and being open to discovery as in you are exploring life. Maybe you're having new experiences. Uh, you're doing new things that you've never done before. And if you're not, you should be. And, uh, you know, by doing that, you could be discovering other things. Like maybe you find love when you're out in public, or maybe you discover a new hobby or a new business that you want to start. But you're doing this because you are open to discovery. And I feel like that's what this is really saying. And it is increasing your abundance as well. Again, I think these two cards here, uh, the key and the door are both connected, obviously. And, you know, again, that card says locked doors can now be open. So you could be also uh, getting opportunities to do things you've always wanted to do. You have the Eight of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and the uh, Justice card. The Eight of Wands is like quick success or a quick conclusion. I feel like some of you could be finding success rather quickly in whatever it is that you're working on. Uh, so I like to see this. I also get a little bit of that like ketchup energy as in, not as in ketchup, as in like you put it on your food, but as in thing, like the energy is catching up to all the work that you've been doing all along. And that could be why you're getting like better results on the work that you do, or, um, you know, you could just be finding more success and maybe more quickly. I don't think it's been quick. I think it's been years of hard work on your part, but it's like you're finally getting the results you desire. Uh, I would also stay open to communication here. I think that for some of you, uh, there could be a new person right here that wants to communicate with you. It uh, could be an earth sign, could be a Scorpio, uh, could also be a Virgo or a Libra that's coming in for you, but you know, whatever. It could be any sign, general reading. And what I would say here, is that I really like the King of Pentacles. Uh, King of Pentacles has staying power. Uh, he is the type of person that really wants to put in the work and make something happen. I would really look at this person's life as well. Like I, I think if you meet a new person and if you can see, like if, if in all areas of their life, they see, seem to like stick to things, if they have evidence that they actually put in the work, then chances are they probably put in the work in all areas of their life and including you if you start dating this person. So I think we're in a time, as I always say, where we really need to pay attention to the evidence and we need to stay focused. So I would do that. I also just feel again, uh, going this way here, you are clearly improving your finances or you are making more money, which is great. Uh, you have the justice card. So justice, I literally feel justice for some of you. So if you've been through an injustice, I feel you could be getting justice. I also feel that this could be talking about cause and effect. You know, justice is if you put energy into something, what do you get out of it? And it's about paying attention to equal give and take. So I would make sure that you are paying attention to uh, like where your energy is going and what you're getting out of it. Uh, let's see. Uh, with the Eight of Wands, you have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like much faster progress. Knight of Pentacles is slow progress, but it is progress. And with the Eight of Wands, I think progress is speeding up. Uh, like I said, I feel for a lot of you, that you've been working on things for a very long period of time and now you're finally getting the results. So not a bad thing. With the King of Pentacles, you have the devil. Uh, it could be an earth sign for sure that's coming in for you here. 
uh, if you want love. The devil doesn't have to be a bad thing. Uh, one thing I will say is, you know, based off the justice card here, I would definitely pay attention to your energy. The devil can be like an energy vampire and it does not have to be a person either. You know, it, the devil can be a job or a person or a situation or an experience that is sucking your energy dry. So make sure that if you are in something that is like stealing your vibe or stealing your energy that you cut it out or make a change. With the Justice card, you have the Queen of Cups. I mean, we're in a heart-based time right now, and really, I feel your heart isn't going to steer you wrong. So I would listen to your heart with the Queen of Cups. I would also listen and trust your intuition. The Queen of Cups is really about like trusting your intuition or listening to your inner voice so that you can you know, be led in the right direction, right? Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, you have this dragon card. It says strength and wisdom. You have this uh, key card. It says locked doors can now be open, and it fits that lock right there on that door. So you are clearly opening new doors to success. The strength and wisdom card, again, is really saying to me that you've been putting in work for a long time. So I, I really just get this feeling of you kind of like getting results for the work you've been doing all along. Um you know, this could be success or, you know, the strength, the, that strength and wisdom card, the dragon could say that you're being rewarded for sticking through something. And I get that here as well. You have the hermit. The hermit, he's been through a dark night of the soul and he's climbed to the top of this mountain. Now he's shining his inner light. So he's kind of being rewarded for his hard work and all, his, all of his effort. And I do feel this reading for the most part is kind of saying that this month you could be feeling the shift. You could be feeling a shift in the energy and you could be feeling like you are being rewarded for all your hard work and effort. The hermit also would represent shining your inner light. And sometimes I feel like he's not shining his inner light. That light, it's actually the star and it is in his lantern there. Uh, but I always say like he needs to open that lantern and he needs to shine his inner light all over the place. But again, coming up in the good stuff. So I feel like you are shining your inner light. Uh, you have the Eight of Swords. It's like you're setting yourself free. The Eight of Swords is normally a card of self-imposed restriction. So it can represent being stuck or feeling like you're stuck in something. But I really get this feeling of you kind of like setting yourself free or being set free in your life. So you could be removing yourself from like a stuck situation. Uh, you have the Four Cups. Uh, four Cups is like an offer. You know, uh, Four Cups can represent disappointment. So it can say that you've been disappointed before. But that cup, that this last cup here is reaching out of the clouds and making an offer to this guy here. So you could be kind of either receiving an offer that is actually worth it or, um, you know, you could be, you could even be giving an offer I'm getting. So you could be the one that is like offering another person something and that's much more worth it. So I, I'm not sure. You might be dealing with a slow person here because we have the Knight of Pentacles. So if you're dealing with a new person and they're slow, uh, they might just be slow. So, <laughs> you know, that's what I'll say there. Uh, with the... Eight of Swords, you have the Three of Cups. If you are stuck, even though it's showing up in the good stuff, if you are stuck in any area of your life, Three of Cups says tap into your community, uh, tap into the people around you because they might have a very quick solution to whatever you're dealing with here. So that's for those of you that are feeling stuck. But uh, the Eight of Swords with the Three of Cups would also kind of represent celebrating a harvest. And we see a lot of really good money cards here. So again, I think you could be celebrating a harvest. With the Hermit, you have the Eight of Cups. If you are walking away from something, I feel like you're walking away much more powerful. Again, you could be walking away from something toxic here, uh, a toxic person, toxic situation. Eight of Cups is about realizing your worth, really, especially in the good stuff, because it says you are walking away because you feel like you're not getting what you deserve from a situation. So a lot of you, um, you know, maybe the dark night of the soul is that you had to walk away from something and kind of like take care of yourself for a while. And now you're coming out of the darkness. Uh, with the Four of Cups, you have the, here you go, you have the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is like fortune after difficulty or something good coming in after a difficult period of time. It's also a card of your dreams. You have that card that says, pay attention to the signs, messages, and guidance that come to you at night. So I feel like you need to pay attention to your dreams. These uh, Ten of Cups, they're celebrating. Those Ten Cups don't really exist. Uh, you know, the card itself says that they are choosing to be happy and they're focusing on what makes them happy. So I would definitely say, um, you know, focusing more on what makes you happy or focusing more on your own personal fulfillment or things that can bring fulfillment into your life, that's gonna be a very good idea for you. So let's see here. You have this bear, it says danger, especially in money matters. Uh, I don't think that's true. <laughs> you know, I, would, I wouldn't spend money like crazy, but this is a very positive uh, financial reading. So I think your finances are improving. You have this valley, it says deep personal strength and peace that assures success. So I think you have developed an, a, a new place of personal strength. You have that dragon card. 
that again says strength and wisdom. It's almost like you're maturing here or you've been through a period of time where you've, you've had to mature very quickly. And you know, I think that could be uh, making creating big changes in your life or that could be um, making things better in your life, whatever, you know, take it how it resonates. You have this younger woman, it says dealings with relationships with a younger woman. You also have this tower, it says solid foundation, success with the effort. And you also have this man card, by the way. So there could be a person that's coming in for you. And this could just be the two of you in the reading. It's like you could be younger, they could be younger, take it how it resonates. But I feel that you could really be building a sol solid foundation with a person. I do get a little bit of an energy of needing to convince a person. Like I'm not going to sugarcoat it, you know, right here and also the Knight of Pentacles. Um, you know, I, like I would never tell someone that like, oh, you should definitely convince this person to be with you, <laughs> right? It's like if someone doesn't see it, screw them. Is as far as I'm concerned. But what I would say is I do kind of feel that you're meeting a person. They might be a little slow. They might be a little hesitant. It could also be you. So take it how it resonates. But, you know, I think that this person here, you have this man card that has dealings or relationships with a man. You have this dog barking. It says advice from a friend. I feel like you could be meeting a person and they might just be like a little slow. And maybe you do, like, I don't think you're convincing them to be with you. But, you know, I, again, it might need a little bit extra elbow grease, right? To get it moving or uh, something like that. So maybe you feel like you're having to convince this person or something. Um, you know, again, it, but but again, I would, I, I want to stress that I would never encourage anyone to like spend a ridiculous amount of time waiting for a person or anything like that. But maybe they're just a little slow at first. And you have this desk card. It says, pay attention to your work. You are. I literally said this at the beginning of the reading that you are very focused on your work and you're getting results. Now, this looks amazing, Gemini. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.